farmhouse. I wanted to share with you some things I've done in my bathrooms here in my country house in rural Kentucky to hopefully up the charm and make it look more luxe. There's about eight things I want to share with you that are really easy little tweaks that I've been trying playing with lately and I think that they have made the bathrooms just uh, have more of that country house feel, that English country house feel that I love so much. So let's get into it. The first thing is put art in your bathroom. It makes it feel so cozy and more like a room in the house and less of like a cold antiseptic place. I love to put water themed pictures in my bathrooms. This was uh, an oil painting that a friend gifted to us. He's like an art student. So it's not quite finished, but it's of a, a house next to a canal. And I just love, I love how it looks in the bathroom. Water is a great theme for bathrooms, but really anything. My husband just gifted me this bee picture for Valentine's Day. He knows I love bees and this bathroom is kind of gray and black and yellow. So I decided to put it in here and it just makes me happy every time I see it. And then we've got some beach pictures from a family vacation on the other side. If you're not sure about putting art in your bathroom, go to Goodwill and see what they have. I was in there the other day and I found these really fun um photograph canvas wrap canvas things it's like a fountain in Paris and they all stack together as a set and I thought that something like that would look really cool in a bathroom I almost bought it for mine but it was a little damaged on the corner so I decided to put it back I went over to Hobby Lobby too and looked around this would be beautiful for a kitchen this food picture I thought that was just lovely another thing to up level your bathroom and make it feel cozy is to get special hand towels. I've been looking for special hand towels that are just going to be dedicated to my bathroom. I thought pretty seriously about these B ones that I saw at Hobby Lobby, but in the end, I picked out something else. But the idea is, um, I don't think it has to be necessarily like a fluffy towel. I actually like to use tea towels in the bathroom because when you dry your hands off, they dry faster than a big fluffy hand towel that's like part of your towel set. So I, and I think that they look really nice too. I ended up choosing these teal waffle weave uh, tea dish towels. They're really dish towels meant for the kitchen. I found them uh, walmart.com and I love the color. So I decided that these are going to be my dedicated hand towels for the downstairs bath. I still haven't found the quite the right thing for the upstairs bath, but you can see just this dark blue color kind of plays with the other blues in here and they're fresh and new and it just kind of livens everything up. Another thing that kind of livens and freshens a bathroom, I think are plants. I recently got into keeping a lot of plants in this downstairs bathroom and it brings me so much joy. I just love seeing these living things and they seem to love this environment too. Another detail that's easy and pretty inexpensive to add are light switches that are fun and beautiful. Like this one is from Lowe's or Home Depot or something, but it's so much better than just the standard light switch. I love it. <laughs> Every time I see it, it just, makes me happy. I like the little architectural shape of it. I think little details like that are what really give you that sense of well-being and home in your home. Speaking of which, another great way to sort of elevate your bathroom and give it that character is, well, of course, art. Again, here's my Chicago poster that my great aunt painted. I love having that in this little nook here. And then just have some candles. I love having candles in the bathroom and also vignettes. So on the top of this dresser, I always keep a couple of candles and also some shells from a family vacation. So they have some meaning to us, but they also look really nice and they're water themed for the bathroom. And then I have this tissue box cover and this other little tooth toothbrush holder that I got at a thrift store. And I love how they kind of echo the tile and the blues in here. And then we just have some little apothecary jars out. and. I just, I think all that stuff adds to the charm. Just a little vignette of sort of some toiletries with the art piece and then the candles. They can add a lot and they're very easy and inexpensive to add. 
Also, if you can add a painted piece of antique furniture, I've had this forever. It's not really antique. It was, I got it for free. I used it in my bachelorette days. It was my bachelorette dresser. And um, now we use it in the bathroom. I painted it several times and it's, it's where we keep our towels. Next on the list of adding character and charm, rub and buff and paint. I love rub and buff. It's a metallic uh, finish and it, you can rub it pretty much onto anything. So I have been wanting to do this for a long time. We have this plastic exposed pipe. That's the, you know, the drain pipe. I can't figure out how to put a sink skirt on here. So I decided to go ahead and make the pipe look as if it were a copper pipe. I got some copper rub and buff and I rubbed and buffed all over these exposed water pipes. There were a couple spots where it was a little hard to get it to stick to the metal or the plastic, but I got out a little teeny paintbrush and I did pretty much get it everywhere that I wanted it. And then I decided to take Parisian Patina which is one of my favorite paint colors. It's a Sherwin-Williams color. And of course, it's called Parisian Patina because it's supposed to look like that green oxidation that happens to copper over the years. So I took that and I just kind of imagined that this is where the pipes had, the copper pipes had oxidized kind of at the seams of the pipes and anywhere where the rub and buff wasn't sticking as well as I wanted it to and I had a lot of time a lot of t a lot of fun just kind of imagining um, how it might end up looking and this is this is the finished result and I am liking it so much better than looking at that white plastic pipe and I think it makes the bathroom look extra vintagey and extra rustic and it also matches the real copper pipes that are on the shower wall that lead to their exposed pipes they lead to the shower and we also have a copper um, shower rod shower curtain rod that my husband made so now we have this whole theme of copper pipes in here. Now, speaking of copper, I have these plastic shower curtain rings and I decided, um, this was a suggestion from one of my lovely viewers, I decided to try and rub and buff these because I, I did put metal shower curtain hooks up there and they don't really, they drag on the copper pipe. So I, I left the plastic ones because they, they glide really, really easily. But I decided to try and rub and buff them just to, you know, elevate the look because I do not like looking at those white plastic shower curtain rings. And the rub and buff went on fairly well, it, it's kind of hard to get it to stick to that shiny, shiny plastic, but it, it went on well enough. And then I went back with the Parisian Patina and I just oxidized them a little bit. Here is the finished result. I'm actually really, really pleased with it. I do think it elevates the look quite a lot. Um, it's very industrial looking. My husband really doesn't want to put a cloth shower curtain over this plain liner. So I'm trying to respect his wishes. I'd really would like to put a cloth liner on, but I think having the metal shower curtain rings faux with the rod and then just the plain curtain, I'll say it looks industrial chic. And then I was inspired, this is our little bathroom trash can, <laughs> and I was inspired to elevate it as well with rub and buff and paint and make it look like it was a copper, uh, uh, a little copper wastebasket. So first I painted it with Parisian patina so I wouldn't have to use quite as much rub and buff. And then I went over it with the rub and buff and I just kind of had fun again, imagining like how it might have oxidized over the years and just kind of making it my my own creation here it is in its little spot next to the toilet it's not even really seen but i think that adding details loving details to places that aren't even really the most obvious is just a way that elevates your home that makes it feel like a home that's kind of what makes it a home are those little hidden details so light switches little vignettes candles art plants fresh towels shower curtain rings, 
water pipes, painting them, maybe painting your wastebasket. These are all ideas to level up your bathroom. Oh, and last but not least, I almost forgot to mention, if you look at any country house or Luke's bathrooms in magazines, you will notice that they always have this mahogany toilet seat. And I have wanted one of those forever. And they're quite expensive and they're also kind of hard to find, it seems like, outside the UK. Um, but I found this black enameled one on Amazon and I think it is a great substitute. It's a really great quality. It was only about 40 bucks. I will link it down below, but I've been really, really happy with it. And it just adds, it, it sparks joy for me, the toilet seat. It adds a little something to the bathroom and I like it much better than the plain white ones. And it's holding up remarkably well. I had a light gray one from the same company previous and it lasted a long time as well, but I love the black one even more. So, so if you've been pining after a mahogany toilet seat or you want to instantly add some English country house charm to your bathroom, I think that getting one of these black enameled toilet seats is a great idea or gray. Um, I can't remember if they had any other colors, but black or gray, they both look really great. They have chrome or gold hardware. If you're looking for even more ideas about a how to add a country house rustic luxe charm to your bathroom without breaking the bank, please check out my whole playlist or the individual videos for more ideas about vintage bathrooms and country bathrooms. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you next week. Oh, and please let me know in the comments if, the, if there's anything you've done in your bathrooms that I haven't thought of. And let me know what your plans are if you are doing any bathroom remodeling this year or just simple refreshes. I would love to hear thoughts and opinions. Let's have a great interiors chat in the comments and I will see you next week. Thanks again. Bye for now.